We're at Knoxby National Wildlife Refuge today. It's a beautiful spring day, and we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Malcolm Hunter. And he is really a, a distinguished uh, scientist and professor, and he works a lot with conservation of wildlife and our natural resources. And we're out here in the floodplain of Knoxby River in the Bottomland Hardwood Forest, and we're standing next to something that Dr. Hunter is an expert in. Dr. Hunter, what is good about an old dead tree? Well, when you first look at a, a dead tree like this, you might think widow maker, uh, just taking up space in the, in the forest. When we talk about people as being dead wood, it's not exactly a compliment. But uh, in fact, these uh, have extraordinary value for any number of, of different species. Some larger ones that we're familiar with, well, woodpeckers and uh, large enough, a bear might uh, find a cavity in, inside one of these, squirrels, bats, the, the list of, of birds and mammals goes on and on, smaller things, various frogs will, uh, and salamanders will be in the cracks and under the bark and, and such, and, and then very small things, things, um, little, little insects and uh, fungi and all sorts of things that you know, sometimes it's hard to understand the value of these things, but they're all part of a larger ecosystem. They have a role in decomposing uh, organic matter like this and, and the like. It really is extraordinary, the diversity of things um, that one can find here. There's, there's two groups of, of beetles, the longhorn beetles and metallic wood borer beetles. These, these groups are uniquely associated with dead wood and worldwide. There's tens of thousands of species of these, of these two kinds of beetles uniquely associated with dead wood. That, that makes them more diverse than all the birds, all the reptiles, all the mammals, all the amphibians in, on Earth, times two, uniquely associated with uh, this thing called uh, a snag, a, a log, whatever, whatever you will. That's uh, a special place, a special little uh, microenvironment within the forest. 